I felt wanted. It was nice, it was a nice feeling. But for me, it wasn't like, and obviously I mean this in the, in the nicest possible way, it wasn't like I'm gonna go to Portsmouth and stay there for the rest of my career. I just needed to go somewhere to kickstart my career and hopefully, you know, kick on from there. Harry Redknapp arrived at the Tottenham training ground. The new head coach of Tottenham. Just come out of nowhere. Harry's left Portsmouth, so I thought, well, I've just come. And he's gone, sort of thing. It was just like, wow, what happens now? But then I had a little smile to myself. I thought, OK, just waiting for the phone to ring. I knew what was going to happen. My name is Peter Rabin. I'm official club dental surgeon for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Peter's a lovely man. He spurs mad. I was very upset when he, he moved to Portsmouth. Good dentist? Amazing dentist. Can't you see my teeth? <laughs> I said to my wife, would you like me to take you down to Portsmouth for this Portsmouth Spurs game? Because I'm very romantic like that. So we went to the match. Now, Jermaine couldn't play in it. And we were watching the game. And all of a sudden, the Spurs fans come out with the Jermaine song. And they're all singing this song, but with great gusto. Called me, he was all excited on the phone. I said, Jem, Jem, you need to listen to this. I was like, what, Pete? I put the phone up, you know, I said, Jem, Jem, listen to this. And I could hear those Tottenham fans singing my song. He loved it. Oh, I said, I oh, love it, love it, love it. I just remember thinking, that's crazy, never, that's strange. Like, I've left the club and the fans are still singing my name. Like, why? And he just messaged me, you've got to come back. Like, you need to come back home. My God, really? I'm going to ring Peter Raven up. He's broke the rules. He's broke the law. I'm going to report him to the, to the uh, dentistry uh, union or whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to get him suspended. The only topic of conversation was Defoe and when he'd be coming back to the lane. They're quite keen to do a deal if the money's right. I remember after a few days it was dragging on. I remember someone called me, an agent called me, and he said to me, um, right, he said, I've spoken to Juventus and they want you to go there, but just wait and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. And then, yeah, tomorrow comes and, 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 that's, and that's it. And then I, I, I sign for Tottenham. Juventus, man, that's big. Cool. I know, I know, but it was like, um, I was so fixed on going back to Tottenham because I didn't like how I left. And it was unfinished business. 